Well, good morning, and welcome again to another podcast. Down to earth, but heavenly minded. I'm your host, Erbrish. And today I'm going to talk to you about actually three sacrifices in the Old Testament, in the book of Genesis, and in the first eight chapters. And the kind of the meaning behind it, I read an article yesterday. I have it here. I'm just going to share a little bit with you. But first, I'd like to read the scripture that inspired this little talk. And it's found in Genesis chapter 8, and towards, in fact, the last part of the, the chapter, verses 20 to the end. And it says this, Then Noah built an altar to the Lord, this is after the flood, and took some of, the, of every clean animal and some of every clean bird, and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And when the Lord smelt the pleasant aroma, the Lord said in his heart, I will never again curse the ground because of man, for the intents of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I cover again or strike down every living creature as I have done. While it is the earth remains, sea time, harvest, cold, heat, summer, and winter, day and night shall not cease. That's a promise of God. And he's held to that promise ever since. Well, in this little article I read, uh, and I recorded it, and it, it's going to be part of the series on the Pentateuch, but I'd like to just share this portion of it. And it says in uh, Genesis 8.20, until the end of the chapter, it talks about, in Noah's sacrifice, we have three types of the death of Christ. The first type is in Genesis 3, set it forth as providing a covering for the guilty sinner. And that was when Adam and Eve sinned, God had to kill the first sacrifice to cover man's nakedness. And it was kind of a type of Christ uh, covering our sins. Uh, God does not see him anymore because they are covered. And then it goes on to say, uh, to cover man's guilty sin. The second Abel offered in Genesis 4 as the basis of approaching to God. If you remember when Cain and Abel uh, brought offerings, one was accepted, one wasn't. Cain's offer was not accepted. Abel's office offer was. And it was because it was a blood sacrifice. An animal had to die. The wages of sin is death. Somebody or something has to die to appease God. And this is a way of approaching God. Now we have it as a uh, presence, a sweet Savior. Something that really pleased God. It smelt good to him. Or a, a Savior of rest. In other words, to God that in which he finds his rest and delight in the excellence of which is offered, uh, finds the ground of his acceptance. Uh, the term burnt offering occurs here for the first time in this particular sacrifice of which we discover when we come to the book of Leviticus we see what it's all about. And that is the first mention here of a burnt offering. It was something that was burnt on the altar, and it gave a smell as it burnt, and it went up to heaven, and God smelt it. It is not difficult to discern an orderly progression of these three types. And, I mean, this is something that... Uh, it's very important. We learn things from the scripture. And even going through the first part of Genesis, we're going to learn about sacrifices and offerings 
and coverings. When awakened to our sinful state, the first thing we consider is the need uh, was a covering, the root meaning of atonement, before the eyes of the holy God, that was good, but we could not endure uh, to be uh, permanently at a distance. We must have a basis of approaching God, and even more than this, uh, we must be in full acceptance uh, to be thoroughly at rest there. If God finds a savor of rest in the death of Christ, we find there a rest too. Well, I wanted to share that with you this morning because today is the Lord's Day. And I plan on sharing this as an offering to the Lord, to the saints that are in fellowship with me. And the reason for this is, is because we want to worship the Lord today and we want to approach him. And we have a basis of approaching the Lord. And that's Jesus Christ. He offered himself for us. And let me just uh, grab something here. I'm going to think it's uh, uh, not organized here this morning. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see. I had to get the hymn number here. I forgot what it was. <laughs> oh, it was 95 here. I got to find it. No, that's not it. Well, it's entitled, uh, No Blood, No Altar Now, The Sacrifice is Or. Uh, maybe I can find it here. Just give me a second here. I should have had this already before I even started. Yeah, okay. 98, that's what it is. Okay. I got it now. I was only off one page. <laughs> okay, it says, No blood, no altar now. The sacrifice is o'er. No flames, no smoke ascends on high. The lamb is slain no more. But richer blood has flowed. Uh, but richer blood has flowed from nobler veins to purge the soul from guilt and cleanse the reddest stain. It's Jesus Christ's sacrifice. And we celebrate it on the Lord's Day. And we take the elements, the bread and the cup, the wine, the grape juice, and it's in remembrance of the Lord. The Lord said, do this in remembrance of me. And that's what we do on the Lord's Day. But just think about these three sacrifices that we talked about. Yes, God had to be the one to kill the first animals. He set a pattern for us. The wages of sin is death. Our sin is ever naked before the eyes of God, and we need a covering. And we also need to be provided a sacrifice. And when uh, we think about... Uh, coming and approaching God. Think about Abel offering a blood sacrifice. And then this last sacrifice of Noah after the flood, a sweet smell, a sweet aroma going up to God. And that's what worship is. When we come before a holy God, uh, as sinful men and women, we need to approach him on all three bases uh, and we'll be accepted and it all goes back to christ when he offered himself at calvary because the sacrifice that we need has to be a perfect sacrifice an offering without spot or blemish and the only one that qualifies for that is the christ Jesus Christ, the Lord. 
So something to remember today. And I'm just going to fade out. Thank you for listening to my podcast. And bye for now.